Hello everyone, thanks for streaming with us on March 3 in Afghan Voice Agency. President Ghani at the heart of Asia Conference says that regional cooperation is important for development in Afghanistan and cooperation between countries in the region and the world is essential for economic empowerment. Speaking at the heart of Asia meeting in Dushanbe, President Ashraf Ghani said Afghanistan-Tajikistan relations are based on mutual respect and trust, and Afghanistan hopes its border will become an example of mutual cooperation. Open borders and border of cooperation, President Ashraf Ghani told delegates at the meeting, he hopes that today's Heart of Asia conference will bring an end to the ongoing war in Afghanistan. President Ghani says that peace in Afghanistan means peace in the region and the ongoing violence in the country is against the will of the people. President Ghani told delegates that peace today is not just a wish but a necessity for the Afghan people. He also mentioned that Afghanistan have been deprived of this right to peace for 42 years. Tajikistan President Imam Ali Rahman says the experience of the past four decades of war in Afghanistan shows that the issue of Afghanistan has no military solution. He says that the international community needs to join hands to help Afghanistan in this respect. Rahman says that Afghans helped the peace process in Tajikistan and we will never forget this. Tajikistan president says that there is more room for cooperation in the energy sector between Afghanistan and Tajikistan. He says his country is ready to increase trade relations with Afghanistan. Meanwhile, Afghanistan and Tajikistan on Monday signed a memorandum of cooperation during President Ashraf Ghani's visit to Dushanbe. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said that American forces will only withdraw from Afghanistan in coordination with their NATO allies who they have fought alongside there for nearly two decades. We've been very clear and NATO has been very clear that the approach that we are taking to this is we went in together, we have adopted to circumstances together and we will come out together when the time is right, Mr. Brinker said in an interview with CNN. And what we are focused on now is looking at the May 1st deadline. The remaining New Zealand Defence Force personnel in Afghanistan have returned home after having lowered the flag on the New Zealand Defence Force 20-year deployment to the country. New Zealand Defence Force News reported that more than 3,500 New Zealand Defence Force personnel have served in Afghanistan in this time, in what has been one of the New Zealand Defence Force's longest-running deployments. 10 New Zealanders lost their lives by serving in a country. An advocacy group assistance association for political prisoners in Myanmar said security had now killed at least 510 people since February 1st military coup in a country. And activists launched a new disobedience campaign by hurling garbage into streets on Tuesday, Reuters reported. On Monday, security forces in response to protests fired heavier caliber weapons to kill barricades of sandbags. Witness told Reuters but it was not clear what type of weapon was used. Shipping was on the move again late on Monday in Egypt's Suez Canal after tug refloated a giant container ship which had been blocking the canal for almost a week causing a huge buildup of a vessel around the waterway. With a 400-meter-long ever given dislodged, 113 ships were expected to transit the canal in both directions by early Tuesday morning, so as Canal Authority Chairman Samarabi told reporters. He said a backlog of 422 ships could be cleared in three to one and a half days. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.